the tremendous atmosphere tonight at uh, Carleton University. So for our players to bounce back with a very good defensive effort tonight compared with uh, what we had yesterday against Ottawa was gratifying for the coaches and I know it was even more gratifying for the players because one of the things that uh, they talked about was having a player driven result tonight and as we came down the stretch particularly in the fourth quarter where we needed to have stops the players really pulled together communicated on the court used their best energy at that time to come up with stops that allowed us to seal the victory at the end of that game one of the things that uh, happens with the team, particularly a young team, when you're in travel situations, is that their communication really grows. And it's one of the things that maybe goes unnoticed while you're on the court. But communicating during a game, communicating during timeouts at halftime is extremely important. And so all those opportunities that you get where you're in an airport, you're on a bus, you're out to eat, you're walking around observing some of the sites. Those things are just invaluable for a team to build those communication links and to build those communication lines. And it goes a long way when you look at a basketball season which goes over the course of two semesters because that communication has to be strong throughout the season. It will be a challenge and the, the first part of that challenge is just a challenge from within. You come off a big road game victory tonight, a satisfying victory against uh, Carleton. Now you're going to play again against McGill. And so you have to have competitive maturity. Not only do you have to have competitive greatness to rise to the occasion during a game, but competitive maturity to understand that you have to do your job to the best of your ability night in, night out. And when you have a young team, one of the things that you're constantly working toward is consistency. So this will be very good for our coaching staff to watch and see which players are most consistent and will be very good for our players to build on that consistency against a McGill team that's going to shoot the ball very well. They're going to have a European style three-quarter court press. They'll throw some zone against us. They'll be very intricate in their offensive patterns, particularly off the ball. And so we'll have to have great defensive awareness. And again, the communication that really carried us to a victory down the stretch against Carlton.